Right now at noon, another shooting at the Harmony Apartments in Madison. What we know on the investigation at this hour. Plus, Vice President Harris and former President Trump agree to debate each other next month. How both candidates are ramping up their campaign efforts. This is News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us on a Friday afternoon. I'm Josh Spreider. Continuing coverage now, Madison Police investigating another shooting at the Harmony Apartments. Officers say they responded just before 8.30 last night after receiving calls about multiple rounds of shots being fired. Police say no one is hurt. Officers did not find any damaged property. However, they did find evidence that the shooting happened. This is near the I-90-94 split. There are several parks not far from the apartments. Police say there is no risk to the public this afternoon. The Madison Police Department is investigating. An update now on the death of Devante Mitchell. All four people charged with killing the 43-year-old are now in custody. Former Hyatt Regency front desk agent Devin Johnson Carter and security guards Todd Erickson and Brandon Turner are all in jail. Hotel Bellhop Herbert Williamson was also taken into custody today. Prosecutors accused the four men of causing Mitchell's death while committing misdemeanor battery. The medical examiner labeled his death a homicide. An investigation report says that the incident started after Mitchell ran into a women's bathroom in the Hyatt Regency where the four men worked. Mitchell's mother says her son was having a mental health episode. Video here shows the men pinning him down as he apologizes and begs them to stop. If convicted, each would face up to 15 years and nine months in prison. Breezy and cooler conditions heading into the weekend. First four meteorologist Savannah Brito has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Feeling very fall-like out there today, Savannah. Yeah, Josh, as soon as I stepped foot outdoors, I was like, okay, yeah, definitely fall-like out here, especially with these temperatures and lower humidity levels. We'll show dew points in a minute, but we're only at 63. So far, that's the high that we've achieved this afternoon in Madison. I do still think temperatures with the right amount of sunshine returning to those skies later this evening, we could see them very close to the 70 degree mark, but I do think that overall anticipate mid to upper 60s. Those are the day, daytime highs we'll achieve later in the day. There are a couple of us just sitting in the upper 50s, still 59 in Mineral Point, 70 though in Kenosha. So a little bit of a temperature gradient out there this afternoon. Dew points though did rise a little bit. There's moisture in the atmosphere, not going to create a lot of chance or a big chance for showers, but a couple sprinkles can't be ruled out because of the cloud cover, the humidity levels that led to cloud cover moving out there. We're up to a dew point of 51, still much lower than what we had the last couple of days overall cooler below average temperatures stick around the next several days. I do think we'll get back to a little bit of a warmer temperature pattern mid to late week. That's when also our storm chances return. But Josh dry for now and a picture perfect weekend just fall like getting a little taste of that at least. Yeah, I think a lot of folks will be getting outside this weekend. Savannah. Yes, I will too. Thank you. To campaign 2024 this afternoon, the debate stage is set. Former President Trump and Vice President Harris now confirm they will debate at least once in September. Willie James Inman reports from Washington. Vice President Harris and former President Donald Trump have agreed to a face-off on stage next month. I think it's very important to have debates. At a lengthy news conference Thursday, Trump suggested three debates, while Harris confirms she'll take part in at least one, scheduled for September 10th. I'm looking forward to it and um, hope he shows up. During Trump's news conference, he issued a series of dire warnings. We have a lot of bad things coming up. You could end up in a depression of the 1929 variety, which would be a devastating thing. Took many years, took decades to recover from it. In my opinion, we're very close to a world war. We have people that don't know how to handle it. As he continued to personally respect. attack Harris. Kamala, who, by the way, is worse than Biden. And she's actually not as smart. Harris and running mate Tim Walls campaigned Thursday in Michigan alongside members of the United Auto Workers. The true measure of the strength of a leader is not based on who you beat down. It's based on who you lift up. Harris and Walls campaign in Arizona Friday as they continue their battleground state blitz while Trump holds a rally and fundraiser in Montana. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. Montana is a reliably red state. Republicans are hoping to flip a Senate seat there. Meanwhile, Harrison Walls head to Nevada tomorrow with a campaign stop in Las Vegas.
Here at News 3 Now, we want to hear from you. You can go on channel3000.com and take our poll. What issues matters most to you? It's on the left side of our homepage under top stories. There you can select anything from the environment to border security as the most important issue you'd like lawmakers to address. That will help us help you find out everything you need to know about where candidates stand on those topics. Luck Hoops is offering young girls a new opportunity to get involved in the sports world. This year there will be the first all-girls basketball team. The tryouts will take place tomorrow, August 10th at Rome Corners Intermediate in Oregon. Boys and girls ages 9 to 17 are able to try out for a fee of $25. There is a link to register for tryouts attached to this story on channel3000.com. News 3 Now is teaming up with the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County for our annual Back to School Supply Drive. You saw us kick off the campaign with the Stuff the Bus event at Hilldale on Monday. Supplies can be donated anytime now through Friday, August 16th. We're collecting backpacks, pencils, pens, lunch boxes, and other essentials needed to make sure kids see a successful return to school. Just stop by any Boys and Girls Club location or News 3 Now to make your donation today. Still ahead for us on a Friday afternoon, why Samsung is putting out a recall for some of their stoves. Plus, why the days of using your friend's Costco membership card will soon be over. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Moving forward. Joe Biden made Kamala Harris border czar to fix immigration. First, she ignored it. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I, at some point. Then she just lied. The border is secure. 10 million illegal immigrants, migrant crime out of control, fentanyl kills thousands. We have a secure border. Kamala Harris, failed, weak, dangerously liberal. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Take on outdoor cleaning projects easily with Snapper Pressure Washers. They're portable and perfect for driveways, fencing, outdoor furniture, and vehicles. Powered by a reliable Briggs & Stratton engine and featuring multiple spray tips so you can get every job done right. Head to Menards and get a Snapper Pressure Washer starting at $279.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. America's number one home improvement retailer for customer satisfaction. Save big money at Menards. Hi, I'm Daryl from Little America. Blake and his cousin Connor are here with their family from Madison today. What's your favorite ride? Here we go. Connor's older sister, Cassie, told me her favorite is the go-karts. Mom loves that she can bring a picnic basket, and Dad enjoys miniature golf. There's fun for the whole family at Little America, where big fun is only a few smiles away. The weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. <laughs> Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. <laughs> Play longer, win more, chances are you're going to like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. You can visibly eliminate wrinkles and under-eye bags in 10 minutes with results that last up to 10 hours without needles and without surgery. Plexiderm does it for only $14.95. Visit PlexidermTrial.com. Samsung is recalling more than 1.1 million electric ranges sold nationwide. The products were linked to about 250 fires, leading to dozens of injuries and killing at least seven pets. The recall involves slide-in electric ranges with front-mounted knobs that can be turned on accidentally, posing a fire hazard if flammable objects are left on top of the range. To remedy the issue, Samsung says it's providing free knob locks or covers for specific models sold in the U.S. between 2013 and this year.
This week, mortgage rates fell to their lowest level in more than a year. The average rate for 30-year home mortgages eased back to 6.47%, according to Freddie Mac. Last spring, that rate was above 7%. And Costco Wholesale is installing membership scanners at the entrances of all its locations in hopes of discouraging non-members from shopping at their stores. The retailer says that soon, instead of flashing their cards at employees, Costco members will be required to scan them as they're entering. If a member's card does not have a photo, the person scanning may be required to show photo ID before entering. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Carissa Lawson. Afternoon hour, here's your stock report. Another day in the green. We have the Dow up 33 points, NASDAQ up 17, and the S&P 500 up 3. Our call for action volunteers are in the building today taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Remember, you can call for action anytime at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim at channel3000.com slash call for action. Pam is watching today's egg prices straight ahead, and Savannah is tracking the first born forecast heading into the weekend. Then later on Live at 4, Will Loper on what to stream, including Matt Damon in The Instigators. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $50 you spend this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a 25 cent fuel saver for every $50 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only at high V. The all new Tempur Pedic Adapt mattresses are here at Steinhoffel's. Expertly engineered with the most advanced pressure relieving material to make aches and pains a thing of the past. Get the new Temper Adapt for only $52 per month when you use Steinhoffel's 60 month financing. Plus, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. There's nothing like a great night's sleep on a new Temper Pedic from Steinhoffel's. Start sleeping better tonight. Shop in store or online at Steinhoffel's.com. Kamala Harris has taken on gang members to get justice for victims, taken on big banks to pay back people they ripped off. Taken on drug companies to cap insulin at 35 bucks. Now she's running to take on greedy corporations who jack up prices to lower everyday costs for working families. They're spending millions on ads attacking her because she'd be a president who fights for you. FF Pack's responsible for the content of this ad. At DePaco, your health and happiness are as important to us as your financial well-being. So when you're ready to take the first step, we'll help you make a plan and transform it into a lifelong commitment. Well-being is the key to a life worth loving. So when you think about yours, remember that DePaco can help you be well. Some things are big, others are huge. It's Empire Today's Half Price Sale. Get $2,400 of flooring for $1,200, $5,200 for an amazing $2,600. That's half the price of your entire purchase. Shop for carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate right from home and have it professionally installed. Don't miss Empire's Half Price Sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $50 you spend this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a 25 cent fuel saver for every $50. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only at High V. The most important part of my job is to make sure that our public, our community is safe and also to educate the public on weather. We're the certified most accurate team in town for forecasting, so that forecast has to be ready when you walk in the door. Always first, always accurate. You do some serious entertainment. Cedric the Entertainer and Tony Braxton team up for a Vegas variety show. Medians, we get out the way when the music acts come through. <laughs> Plus, the cast of the girls on the bus. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We're back on a Friday afternoon. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Hi, Pam. 
Hi, Josh. Yeah, beautiful weather for Wisconsin State Fairgoers. I'm trying to catch people up to speed on all the activities that have been going on all week long. Uh, yesterday, for example, they named the uh, Grand Master Cheesemaker at the Wisconsin State Fair Park. It was kind of the culmination of the Blue Ribbon Dairy Products Auction that happened yesterday afternoon in Saz's uh, basic beer garden area. Congratulations to Gary Gazda from Lake Country Dairy Schumann Cheese way up in Turtle Lake, Wisconsin. His main Maple-flavored mascarpone cheese is what uh, topped the competition. Sold yesterday afternoon for better than $700 a pound. So somebody's enjoying that sweet-flavored cheese, uh, which almost is like a dessert. Uh, today, he was named the 2024 Grandmaster Cheesemaker. Also want to give a shout-out to some of the other folks from around our Channel 3 viewing area that did well. Uh, Lake Country also, aside from their mascarpone, had a cello, smoky pepper, hard rub fontanel that did well. Asiago and Parmesan, also from Lake Country. Nordic Creamery had the tops in the butter contest. Ron's Wisconsin Cheese and their artis artisanal garlic and dill cheese curds got the flavored cheese curds. And Crave Brothers out in Waterloo captured the blue ribbon for the unflavored cheese curds. Earlier this week, we had some of our local meat processors that were part of the governor's blue ribbon meat products auction to benefit Wisconsin's 4-H Foundation. Congratulations to the grand champion bacon makers, Lodi Meats in Lodi, grand champion dried beef, Weber's down in Cuba City, grand champion ring sausage, Leroy Meats, Leroy Meats up in Horicon, grand champion specialty cured meats, Mr. B Smokehouse in Hillsboro. Just Grabbed a couple of the names uh, from around our Channel 3 viewing area that took tops. If you're thinking about grilling out this weekend or something different for maybe the cheese party trays, then now you've got some new names to keep in mind. Dairy markets today in Chicago, nice and robust. China's been back in the marketplace just a little bit. Barrel cheese up four and a half at two dollars and a half cent. Forty pound block cheese gains a penny at one ninety five and three quarters. Double A butter that stands still today, Joshy three oh nine and three quarters per pound. But like I said, rush through a couple of those uh, lists. You know, every year these contests get bigger and bigger, more and more interest in some of these artisans uh, from the cheese products, the dairy products as a whole, than those meat products. It's a lot to try to get in, even at an event as big as Wisconsin State Fair. You know, and you want to try to consume as much as you can, but you can only fit so much in, <laughs> especially at the State Fair. Band. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and usually the Sporkies, it's like one and done for me when Big it comes time. to those enjoying pieces. So, but yeah, now you got some so so thoughts rather for the grill and uh, the cheese play. Well, sounds out this good fall. to me. Heading into a nice weekend. All right, Pam, have a good yep. one. See you later, buddy. Have a good one too. You too. A uh, cooler weekend ahead. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Kind of a little taste of fall here, Savannah. I know. I like these temperatures, but I'm a summer lover, so I'm not really ready to see these temperatures. At least it's only a couple days, and then we're going to get back to a warmer stretch. Temperatures are anywhere between about 5 and 10 degrees cooler than what we had at this time yesterday. We're 10 degrees cooler in Madison, 9 in Janesville, 8 in Lone Rock, 7 in Decorah, Iowa. Temperatures out there are only in the lower 60s for the most part. Couple of mid 60s now across Dane County. We're still holding on to one of the cooler temperatures, 63 in Madison, 64 in the Dells. We don't have a lot of 50s out there, just 59 in Mineral Point. I think nighttime temperatures are going to drop a lot, so expect a cool evening. Even if you're heading out this afternoon into this evening, I think you might need a jacket if you do get cold easily or at least a sweatshirt. Temperatures this afternoon will top out close to 70. We still have a couple more hours. I think we will see some clearing take place as we head for the evening. Could help boost temperatures at least a little bit, but moisture levels increasing, so we do have a lot of cloud cover out there at least right now. 73 Saturday, and then we're up to 77 Sunday, a little bit closer to normal. That's still four degrees below it. Our average high for this time of year, 81 in Madison. But we could see a couple of sprinkles, mainly later as we head for the afternoon and evening. Very brief if we do see any, but similar to yesterday, most of the area staying dry. If we do see a sprinkle, it's not going to amount to anything measurable or something to add on to August rainfall. But clouds decrease overnight as a result of that. Winds back out of the west or northwest. Temperatures are going to fall a lot. Most of us are going to be right down that 50 to 
to that 50 degree mark. And I do think areas could even drop into the upper 40s. That's likely for areas across southern Wisconsin. I think a little bit of a better chance west and northwest, but nonetheless, a very chilly night. Usually our overnight low somewhere around 60 degrees. We're going to be about 12, 10 to 12 degrees below that. Then tomorrow, again, similar conditions to today. I think temperatures are going to top out in the mid to upper 60s, right near that 70 degree mark. I think we have a better chance tomorrow to squeeze out a 70 compared to the cloud cover we're seeing. I think we'll see a little bit more sunshine as we head for Saturday. And then again, Sunday as temperatures climb again closer to seasonal rain is going to stay away out of the forecast for quite some time. It's very breezy outside too. That's something I want to note as we head into the weekend. This not really going to decrease until we head into Sunday. So Friday evening and then into Saturday, we are going to track wind gusts around 25 miles per hour. They start to ease some Saturday heading into Sunday. Rain chances don't return until mid to late week. Originally looks like we could see some showers Monday and Tuesday. I think that kind of stays and uh, away from the southern Wisconsin area at least until that Wednesday Thursday time frame and even that could bring us a chance further south of the area across central Illinois. I think we're, that's where the better chance is at least right now. But both weekend days look good. 73 today we're up to 77 on Sunday and then warmer temperatures were closer to normal by Monday and Tuesday. Still not quite there. Our average high again was 81 for this time of year. We'll be very close to that Wednesday. Could see areas top out in the lower 80s anywhere between Wednesday that will stick with us heading into next weekend. But I think there's a little bit better of a rain chance next weekend compared to this weekend. But Josh, next week it'll be more summer like compared to the almost early September like feel we'll have outside today, tomorrow and then Sunday. Yeah, the coolest and driest stretch we've had in quite some time. Yeah, I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look at the data and see when the last time we were only in the mid to upper 60s. All right, Savannah, thank you. You're welcome. Right now, mortgage rates remain high and home insurance is on the rise. It's making it much harder for Americans to buy a home, especially in highly populated areas. Here's CBS's Donnie Backus. This is going to be your living room. Michelle Burson has spent two months looking for a new home for her family in Orange County, California. It's a little bit like a treasure hunt. You know, we are trying to find that perfect home within our budget. A budget that is doubled. She's now looking in the $2 million range. It's been one of those stories where we probably should have done this about five years ago, but we are those people that waited for the bus to happen and seemingly it's not going to happen um, anytime soon. Real estate analytics firm Adam looked at 589 U.S. counties and found 80% are considered unaffordable. In 2021, Americans in those counties were spending about 21% of their income on housing costs. Now that number has jumped to about 35%. Orange County has one of the largest concentrations of people living in an unaffordable area. The average price point right now is about 1.2 million in the Orange County area. Bree Moore is a real estate agent with Bullock Russell Real Estate Services. 1.2 million. Does that get you a five bedroom home or a two bedroom townhouse? So 1.2 is gonna get you around three, three bedroom, two bath. He's had several clients who have been priced out of the market. At one point I had 10 clients that were looking to buy and they wanted to wait for a while. But as soon as rates started going up, prices started going up, it was kind of pushing them out of the, uh, the market, unfortunately. For Burson, home buying this time around has been more competitive. We have put offers in on two homes so far, and we were outbid. She's now thinking about this home, but plans to keep looking. Danya back in CBS News, Orange County, California. When we come back at noon, Howard's working in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. A summer dessert that'll satisfy your sweet tooth without weighing you down? Sounds impossible, but it's not. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Melissa Ratcliffe, a working mom, is the only woman running for state senate in District 16. Republicans in the state senate are attacking abortion access. Melissa Ratcliffe will always defend reproductive freedom. Melissa Ratcliffe, a proven fighter for our rights. If you're watching this Gerber Life guaranteed life insurance commercial, there's a good chance that you're alive. And if you're not, well, this may not be of interest to you. Now I know what you're thinking, life insurance, I'm gonna live forever. Death is what happens to other people. Well, for the sake of argument, let's assume you're wrong and that someday you won't be watching TV anymore. 
I know, it's not easy to talk about. So I'll do the talking. If you're 50 plus and alive, you can apply for Gerber Life Guaranteed Life Insurance with guaranteed acceptance, regardless of your health. And since this life insurance is guaranteed, you don't have to get a medical exam. In fact, you don't even have to fill out a health questionnaire. For a free quote, just call 800-387-9724. Then when you stop, I mean, if you stop watching TV, your family can use the insurance money to help cover your final expenses or anything else. For a free quote, call today, 800-387-9724. Your kids already inherited your ears, allergies, and questionable singing voice. Don't make them inherit your final expense tab, too. You'll soon vote on two misleading constitutional amendments. They're designed to trick voters into eliminating checks and balances in our government. It's a power grab to give the MAGA politicians in the legislature the sole power to distribute emergency funding. They gerrymander, deny elections, and push abortion bans. Don't give MAGA politicians the sole power. Vote no to questions one and two. Memories matter. This bend on Cox Hollow Lake was one of Dad's favorite fishing holes. Crest Funeral and Cremation Service helped us make sure he's never forgotten. Making it personal, it's how you heal. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. Melissa Radcliffe works across the aisle to make positive things happen. Expanding broadband, making housing more affordable. Melissa Radcliffe knows that Wisconsinites need progress, not partisan bickering. Melissa Radcliffe, common sense leadership, proven results. A summer dessert that'll satisfy your sweet tooth without weighing you down? Sounds impossible. Well, it's not. The dessert we're sharing today is refreshing and light, yet still tastes decadent. It's a cross somewhere between lemon bars and the creamiest cheesecake you've ever had. Oh, and the best part, there's no baking required. We start by combining some graham cracker crumbs, a bit of sugar, and some melted butter. Once that's mixed well, we pat it into our baking dish to create a crust. We'll put this in the fridge for a bit to firm up while we make our filling. And for that, all we do is beat together some cream cheese with sweet and condensed milk until it's smooth. Then we add in some lemon juice and some lemon zest. And to make this nice and light, we fold in some whipped topping. Now we spoon this over our crust. And here's a little tip. Gently shake the pan to help level it off before popping it back in the fridge to chill. Right before serving, top it with a bit more lemon zest and a few berries and you're good to go. One bite, and you'll know why I think this might be summer's ultimate dessert. To get the recipe for our lemon refrigerator bites, all you need to do is visit our website. This way, you'll be ready no matter who stops by this summer. And if you never reveal where you got the recipe, that's okay. It'll be our little secret. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a lemony cool way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Here's Savannah Brito with a final check of your first warm weather. Thank you, Josh. We do have some clouds out there right now because moisture levels did start to rise. Dew points are still sitting in technically comfy levels. 71's your high today. We don't have a great chance of showers, but a few sprinkles cannot be ruled out. That is not going to amount to anything. Check out the overnight lows, though, the next couple of nights. 52 tonight, 54 tomorrow night. Temperatures Daytime highs anyways will rise a little bit from here on out this weekend, but overall definitely a September like feel, not an early to mid August like feel 73 Saturday, 77 Sunday and no rain in the forecast this weekend looks good. Our next best chance of rain not till mid to late week next week, Josh. All right, Savannah, thank you and thanks for joining us. Make it a fantastic Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Folks.